There's just one. I'm not gonna. In fact, I'm not gonna read it. But I just want to share a little bit of a testimony about Thanksgiving. And I was looking up the history of Thanksgiving, and something I discovered just this past week, and I thought it was very interesting. And uh, that is that President Lincoln, on the day that he gave his most famous speech, the Gettysburg Address, was the day that he gave his heart to Christ. And he says, uh, and I'm just going to read this one little paragraph here, and he tells about that experience. But that same week that he gave his heart to Christ, he also issued the, the proclamation of the Thanksgiving proclamation, okay, which was actually the result of a of a woman named Sarah Hale for 30 years had been lobbying every president for a national day of Thanksgiving, and Lincoln finally uh, uh, wrote one about a week after this happened, and he says uh, it says Lincoln. Lincoln's original 1863 Thanksgiving proclamation came, spiritually speaking, at a pivotal point in his life. During the first week of July of that year, the Battle of Gettysburg occurred, resulting in the loss of some 60,000 American lives. Four months later, in November, Lincoln delivered his famous Gettysburg address. It was while Lincoln was walking among the thousands of graves there at Gettysburg that he committed his life to Christ. As he explained to a friend, when I left Springfield to assume the presidency, I asked the people to pray for me. I was not a Christian. When I buried my son, the severest trial of my life, I was not a Christian. But when I went to Gettysburg and saw the graves of thousands of soldiers, I then and there consecrated myself to Christ. And I thought that was interesting. I never learned that in history. And, uh, and I was going to read a, a, a part of the proclamation, but I'm going to end it right there. But, uh, but anyways, the, the point that I wanted to share is in the midst of our nation's greatest trial, the Civil War, Lincoln issued the proclamation for Thanksgiving, and, and he listed a, a number of things that we ought to be thankful for. And, and that's what I want to say is, you know, we have so much to be thankful for. Amen?